What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to UFC 2. I I almost said something else. It's like my mouth wanted to say EA Sports, but I actually said UFC 2. So it was like, yeah, UFC 2. <laughs> anyway, we're playing the My Career Mode, and we just had a pretty damn good series of fights. Uh, I don't know what my, over, what my rank is now. Look, I'm 7th. I'm right there. I'm in seventh place right now for the championship, which is fantastic because we just beat, uh, forgive me, I forget his name, but he was in ninth place. So we took his rank, which is really awesome. I don't really recognize too many of those guys in the list, to be 100% honest with you, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and pick our next fight, which one we're going to do. Now, one thing I want to mention, I didn't know this at the time. Like, I knew about simming. Oh, he's a big boy. Look at his clinch. Holy shit on two sticks. This guy's significantly worse. This guy's at number three. I'm just wondering if I should go for the special fight because he's a 94. He'll want to take me down. You know what? If I can keep him air if I can keep him on his feet and avoid the ground and avoid the clinch, we'll probably be pretty good. This guy is pretty damn good. Oh my god. This guy is more relatively my skill length and he's number five and like i said i'm number seven so this will boost me a, a couple this will get me that extra thousand i'm not sure what i want to do though he's a wrestler he's a greco-roman wrestler so uh i don't know what's his ratings ground passes yeah throwing strikes his clinch is murder so this is the kind of guy i don't think i really want to fight I think I might fight this guy, just to be safe, Tim Botch. Could be Botch Boach, I'm not sure, I think it's Botch. Uh, but one thing that I didn't know at the time, uh, that I was going to mention, a lot of people were mentioning as well. Keep in mind, I do read the comments, but I had already recorded 10 parts before I could even get to the comments, really. Uh, before, like, before the, you know what I mean, before videos started going live all that much, I had recorded 10 parts. Uh, with training camp, I can actually skip it if I want to. As long as I have, uh, uh, like an A or a, or, or a, like whatever rank I had, if I do a sim, I will get that same rank. I didn't know that. I thought simming was kind of random. So, yeah. So with the right hand power, see, I already got an easy, I got an A in the medium, so I could go ahead and sim it. And that gave me the 90 and that boosted me up, gave me an A. Well, now that I know that. That's fantastic. So I don't have to spend all my time training. And this is also maxed out. My, my left hand power. Oops, I s didn't mean to do that. Crap. Go back. <laughs> Can you training? So yeah, there you go. Okay, training camp. Looking really good here. My movement and my blocking, I think, needs to go up. I wish I could get a better ranking on my medium. But maybe I should work on my ground for a bit. My chin needs to be upgraded. My, you know, I, I've already got a, um, a medium. So, although the, the damage rank is a medium. But, I'm going to sim it anyway. Yeah, we took, we lost some ground defense. And we got a little bit of body health reduced. That's the cost of, of, of warfare, man. So, that's unfortunate. One more training session. My question, what do I wanna what do I wanna work on? Um maybe my top game. Just in case it comes to that. They're all mediums anyway, so. This will give me the chin though, which is really handy. So this will bring me to a 68 chin. That's not the best. But hell, it's better than nothing. So oh, I lost choke defense and ground defense. So I gotta watch those submissions. But my chin went up. I thought I had a stronger body. I thought I was in the 70s for the body, but maybe not. So, oh well, we're ready to fight. But the thing is, because I can now sim training, I might be able to fit in a few extra fights. But we'll see how long each fight is. It's hard to say. It may just shave like 10 minutes off at max, so. All right, we're moving up the main card. Fighting Bocce Boy. It could be something else. I'm not sure. Bo Boch? Boy? Boch? Wait, where were we? Where are we? We're in Toronto. Good thing I checked. We're going to be at home. Well, we're not technically home, but we're in home soil, like home country soil. So, yeah, we're in 96 with a stand-up and a 73 on the ground. 
So I really should probably start working the clinch to bring my overall up a little bit more. Because right now, I mean, my stand-up's really good, but I don't want to get wrecked in the clinch. And, you know, I don't want to get submit submitted from the clinch. That would just suck. So... Coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Tim, the Barbarian Boach, Boach. and the Gentleman. Okay, now I know it's Boach. I had to combine the two. I called him Boach before, I think, and Botch. So I had to combine the two, Boach. <laughs> the Gentleman, as always, very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to go to battle. One thing to look out for from him is his low kicks. He throws them with devastating power. And if you can't defend against them, he will kick the legs right out from under you. It doesn't take too many before you start to lose speed and punching power. Even though I don't, I mean, I go for the body occasionally and the legs occasionally. But I mainly, I mainly go for the head. It's just habit. Up for the gentleman! Alright, Mr. Boach, I'm ready to fight you, good sir. Tim the Barbarian Boach feels like he's never been better prepared for a fight. He's sitting at what, number five, they said? And I'm number seven this on the guy list. has outstanding control on the ground amongst the best in the world and holding his opponent in the position that he would like to keep him in while utilizing his techniques. So I worked my grounded pound. Which really, really helped out, I think. But I also got injured. So it was a bit of a catch-22. I mean, I upgraded my... Ready to battle. Oh, look at that Air stare Canada down. Center in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Damn. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. Boach is 10 years his elder. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Taekwondo fighter holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, the gentleman. And now Swish. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 24 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sunbury, Pennsylvania, Tim the Barbarian There's modest cheers. Ah, oh, new ref finally. Our referee. All right. Middleweight matchup. I'm ready. Who's on it? Let's go, mate. Good, good luck. Oh, oh, you greasy bastard! Whoa! Oh my God! That's what you get for the cheese. I probably shouldn't have got up. Come on, get up! What a greasy son of a bitch, man! He he went for the thing and then he changed his mind. Hit him hard with that hook. I should have kept him on the ground. Come on, bitch. Yeah, I'm going to call him bitch instead. Come on. I don't want to hit wind. He misses with the straight left. Hit him with the jab. Boach with some solid kicks. Whoa. Hard leg kick. Back and forth. Okay, calm down. Oh! Beautiful body shot there. I'm alright. He's a little hurt though. Hard left hand. Turning into an all-out slug fest. Whoa! Oh, jumping knee! Oh! Oh, nice big knee! knee. He's in trouble! Can he hang on? That's a big hook. Look at this! God damn it! Oh, Boach, man. I can't have that. I need him to... 
He's got good power too. Bolch's kick just misses. Flying knee! Big what right a hand. huge right hand! Come on, man. Oh, I didn't upgrade those. Oh! Oh, how did I not hit him? I didn't upgrade my... I have a lot of stats. And now he's answered. I can't connect. Oh, big kick. Come on, man. Oh. Nice combination. Dude's got a reach advantage. He must have a strong chin. He hurt him with that hook. I gotta stop that. Seconds. Whoa! I'm all right. Oh, and he goes up top with a kick. Oh! I don't want to keep swinging for the fences. Damn! I think I took that round though. I had him staggering. Right after the first kick, I had him staggered. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round here. And here's a nice shot. So he got the perfectly. punch. But come on, you're going to show only his? And here's another clean shot that. Yeah, they love showing his punches, even though mine was the one like that was really hitting. That's stupid. All right, round two. I shouldn't have got up. I almost knocked him out in the first few seconds because he wouldn't shake my hand. He pretended to, then he dropped it, right? And then he tried to get a cheap shot. That was some greasy shit, Boach. That was a botch move, as I say. Oh, but he's going to do it that time? He's like, okay, I'm sorry, bro. I made it this time. want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Head kick! See that? Big shots. Oh, head kick. What a oh, come on, block. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Come on. Oh, flying knee. Vicious combinations. Gotta wait. Get that stamina back. Get he's punches and bunches. You got it, boss. Get him in the corner. Rip that hook to the body. The gentleman with another hook that scores. Tim Boach is not effectively using his reach advantage to No, he him. really he's isn't. Not using that reach advantage. Whoa. What he's doing is fighting like a guy who's much shorter than he actually is. Yeah, he is. Good block, and he delivers the straight. Yeah, down. yeah, no, he's getting me right now. Real kick attempt. Very nice late kick by Boach. Come on, Boach. Under three now. He's got heavy leg kicks. See, I gotta wait for him to knee to the body. Nice inside. Just like that. Oh, flying knee. Oh. Oh. Big shots again. What an exchange. Damn. How did that went right through him? Come on, Boach. Head kick. Oh, that one hurt him. Come on. Oh, he got me. Yeah, it's the first out. slam. Oh, that's a huge takedown. Come on, man. Let me do something. Boach gets back to side control. He's got the ground. Come on. Now he goes north south. Dude's like getting me with everything. Side control. Nice. Holy shit. Done. He's posturing up here. Good punch by Boach. Look at this. He's out of it. All right, I'm in control. Reversal. Very nice. They're inside control. Oh, my thumb slipped off the stick. Look at the bruising on his torso. I just want out. Got double underhooks. He can do damage from this Muay Thai punch. Oh! Oh! He's hurt. oh my god! I gotta get out of here! Side control. I got I 
Do something! I can't, he's blocking everything. Jesus Christ, that was so close. My God, I, I just couldn't get out of that ground. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big Oh my God. Let's take a look here. I gotta get rid of this guy. That's what screwed me down. That was a big one. Let's look at that from a different camera. Oh my God. Boach is being a douche. Ed Bubba Ganoush. Five minutes left in the fight. Nice parry there. Good connection with the straight by the gentleman. Clean straight punch. I hate that because he can see it coming. He's looking for that right hand, Mike. Damn. And he lands it to the leg. Solid jab. Look at this. Softening his opponent up. That eye is going to be grotesque. Joe, he's keeping oh. busy. Look at the numbers. Total strike line. Man, that was a perfect counter punch. Come on. He was looking for the head kick, but it was blocked. Solid left. Powerful kick. Oh! Caught him with a big right hand. How the hell is this guy still alive? Solid shot to the body. That's a big hook. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up. I want out. I can't get out of this. Get off of me. Oh my god, get up. Get up, man. Oh my god. Get up. Can't get up. All right, I'm up. But I have like no stamina right now. And he's able to get back up to his feet. Oh my god, dude. I'm starting to get really pissed off right now. He's got the full mount, Joe. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Come on. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Full guard. Nice work from the bottom. I just want up. The gentleman with the good right. I saw the cut when it was first open, Joe, but it's really swelling. He's up pulling me back down. Boats with a punch to connect. I just want, I just want up, man. Seriously, I don't want to fight him down here anymore. He's got way more stamina. Bad, bad, bad. Back up. Under a minute remains in the third and final round. This could be it. Oh! Take him down! That's it. He's out. Yeah! What? Oh! 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 To the head. Dude, I was going to lose that match. I could swear I was. That fight was not mine. Let's take another look at Boom. this kick that ended Woo. this fight. As soon as it lands, this contest is over. We can oh see my a god. Angle here. Look at the power in this round. What a kick. kick. And when it lands, the fight is done. Great angle here. And he's out. Holy Here hell. Is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of the third. That round. was close, man. The gentleman. The gentleman wins by knockout. No, dude, that was insanely close. I thought I was done, man. I No, honestly, I thought I was done. Because he had me on the ground. I had no method of getting out of it. He was too good for me on the ground there. Can you imagine if I fought the other guy, though? Oh, man. But, hell, I took it. Just one well-connected kick. Got a trophy for it as well. Right at the end of the round. Crazy. I got to spend some of those ev evolution points because I have a ton. I have like 7,000 right now. Okay. Uh, let's see what's next for our fight offer. That fight was pretty. Oh. 
Jacare Sosa. Jacare has proven to be one of the best Brazilian Jiu Jitsu artists to ever enter into the octagon. And that one stung Musasi pretty good. Big left hand there. Oh man, this guy's just a beast. Putting it all together, man. Did you look at this guillotine here for Jacare? That is very tight. There's the tap. Jacare Sosa exacts his revenge. This guy is a contender, no doubt. He must be my next super fight challenge. Yes, he is. He's, uh, let's see, keeps Z Zosa to, to under 30 successful ground transitions, throw no more than 30 stand up strikes and 30 clinch strikes, win by submission with no more than five submission attempts. Well, good luck with that because I don't have any of those. He's currently ranked number five. How is that possible? Anyway, um, let's continue into the training, but we'll change my fighter's attributes up because we have a lot. So, let's take a look at our moves. See, we have 7,500. That's quite a lot. So, I'm kind of... I kind of want to get my major kicks. Like, up relatively high. Just like that. The flying knee's a level 4. But I want my big boys. You know what I mean? I guess it'd be, hold on, the spinning heel, I could get that going, because I use that pretty often, so I'll do that, it's a level 5, so it's got a huge damage boost, the tornado kick, I'm going to instantly boost that to a level 5, so when that connects, it's going to be murder, cartwheel kick, I haven't really used that at all, because I'm always directionary, that's the thing. Anything else that requires an upgrade? The cage heel kick. I think that's what I've been using. Oh no, the Showtime Roundhouse. So it's hard to say what I want to do. I don't use that often. Like, I just want to work on the ones that I really use. So I think we'll hold off on that and we'll go with perks for the moment. Uh, maybe increase the head knocks. I think that's all I got, obviously. 6% chance. Probably get at least a level 2. Oh, we can't even get that. Alright, that's alright. Let's work on the training. Attributes you cannot distribute, I don't believe. See, look at this. My stand-up is so good. My blocking is the lowest out of everything, but... Like, the power is, is as high as it can go. The punch speed is almost as high as it can go. Uh, it's only a 75, but even that's not very good. My clinch can be pretty solid, so maybe I should work on the clinch. And my ground, you know? <laughs> Athleticism. Stamina is... Oh, my stamina is maxed out. I didn't even realize that. Body health. My body health and chin health are what I really, really want to upgrade next. Although my toughness needs to go up too. So anyway, let's let's get to training. We actually have to train now. Like I said, I can I, I can work on my stand up and get this going to get my defense. I think that's important. I'll have to do this, unfortunately. See, look, this is for a stamina boost, but I don't need a stamina boost anymore. So we'll just go ahead and sim this. Okay, what else can we do? I can keep going with that. My blocking must be maxed out. No, it's not. That would be stupid, because that's pretty pretty low. Uh, have I done any clinch things at all? Yeah, actually I have. I've done the medium rank for clinch power and grappling and whatnot. I haven't done the takedown defense. Oop. I've done takedown offense, but I failed pretty hardcore. So I'm wondering if I should work that. I simmed this one, didn't I? That's why it was so trash. Is 
Just wondering what I want to do. Because I don't use takedowns very often. Maybe I'll work the clinch a little bit. Just in case it happens. Get that clinch number up a little higher. Because since we have a medium and it's a low risk, honestly, we can't really go wrong there. So I'm not mad. Okay. We could do another one. I wonder if I should do another one of those clinch trainings. I don't think I've done this yet. I'll have to do that. I think I might do this again just to get that body up to a 71. Let's do it again. So we have a couple mediums. That brings us to a 71 body condition. And that also upgrades my clinch. Get those numbers out of the trenches. We might be about an 81 now. Maybe even an 82. Most likely an 81 though. We're in Montreal again. Alright, this should be interesting. It's considered a super fight. Yeah, I'm an 81. But I got a 97 on my stand-up. So, anyway. Going home, baby. Even though a lot of people in Quebec want to, have wanted to separate on more than one occasion from the country. Coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Ronaldo, Jacare Souza, and the gentleman. I'm a little concerned. I, I mean, these guys are getting better and better, but so the am I. Very focused, well prepared. And looking for a big victory tonight. This guy has brutally effective leg kicks, Mike. He throws them like a baseball bat cracking against your thigh. And when a fighter starts to lose his legs, he loses his ability to change levels, to throw effective strikes. Leg kicks are a very good way to wear down your opponent. Thank you. The gentleman enters the octagon. Up for the gentleman. All right. Belt in Jiu Jitsu and Judo, the Brazilian, Ronaldo, Jacare Souza, the multiple time Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt world champion. He continues to showcase his striking skills in the octagon, and he will look for more of the same as he goes to battle tonight here in the UFC. This guy has taken shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. That's not a good sign, so I may have to work his legs. Hanobo, Jacare Souza, set to fight the gentleman. All right, this guy could probably be one of the bigger All challenges I've had. For this middleweight fight. He's pretty Jacare old. is 12 years his elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Yeah, so it's, With yeah. 2019 we're in now, guys. So I'm 28. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A Taekwondo fighter holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. Stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, the gentleman. And now we're going to see his opponent fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding the national record of 32 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Hanada Jacare. All right, man, you're gonna be nice. You're gonna be sportsmanlike. It's hard to say with certain fighters. Yeah, he's cool. All right, cool. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Wow, that was dumb. White trunks for Souza. Joey has worked his way up the ladder, and tonight faces the most difficult test of his mixed martial arts career. Oh, come career. on, man. He said he wants to fight the best. Well, tonight he gets that opportunity. Oh, he's good. He kicks. The gentleman with some solid kicks. He caught it with the head kick. Oh, wow, he is throwing some huge kicks here. Dude was working his... Some beautiful 
powerful kicks here on his opponent. Jacare gets caught by that kick to the body. Oh, that was a bad time. To the body. And now they clinch. Ah, oh, that's a picture oh, perfect trip for the takedown. Man, he gave up his back. It's hard to get out of the guard. She's gonna step right back over. Solid punch by Souza. I don't like how they do these. That's a big punch to the head from the top. He's got to control the spacing here. Oh, big right hand. With the right hand. Get up. See how delayed it is? I'm up. Wow. Wow, swing and a miss. And then I lose all my stamina. Block, man, block! Big trouble. Huge kicks. Gotta get away from him. Oh, oh my god. He is hurt here. This guy is good. I'm trying to stick away. Damn. Oh. Wow. Oh, he's landing at will. Yeah, and then his leg is boss. That's all you gotta do. Block. Oh, come on! That's it. He's not hitting me. For some reason, he's not he's letting What a good He could have finished me, but he didn't. The gentleman's lucky he survived. He was just saved by the bell. He certainly was. He was in deep water there. See, he had my leg. So I couldn't really block. I was dazed from the leg and everything, so I couldn't really block high. Let's look at that Basically, again. see, it left me angle. all dazed and uh, I was done. I couldn't move. So that was bound to happen. That was a shit round for me. It's getting a little nervous. Set, round two. You ready? You ready? Round two. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly but This guy is so really good. He's tough. Round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Man, he can't take too many of those body shots. Another solid kick to the body by the gentleman. So I try to... Nice knee. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Working the body. And then I lose my stamina. Here's an updated look at the significant strikes landed. He's got most of them. To the body. Whoa! Oh, he goes down. Big diving punch to the that was body. weird. Oh, Whoa! Right Are you serious? That's it? Huge knockout. What happened? What kind of a knockout was that? Guys, I what? Can, can somebody tell me what the hell happened? The official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, what three dad for the alpha has What in the hell? He like we ragdolled. Dude, I am so confused as to why and how that happened. I have no idea how that happened. He like tripped over his own feet. We got cut up in his leg and that counted as a knockdown for me. And then I just finished him. That was so bizarre. Whatever, I guess I'll take the win. But that was the strangest knockout I've ever seen. Like our legs, literally I tripped him. It's like I broke his, his leg and he like backflipped. It didn't even show the replay. It didn't even, the game didn't even know what to make of that one. <laughs> oh man, performance of the night. That was funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, I'm getting close to my retirement. I'm, the fans are taking longer. Because I'm not doing the fight objectives. I kept them under that. Win by submission, throw no more than 30 stand-up strikes. Yeah, see, they wanted you to work his... It was just kind of ironic, right? So. All right, so I got myself 3,500 extra fans because 
Your fight is the centerpiece of a few post-event recaps. Seems you made quite the impression, gained some fans. What, just because, like, we, 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 our legs went akimbo in each other. And he fell to the ground. It didn't even look like he was knocked out. That's so weird. But now I'm the third, I'm ranked number three as a fighter. So that's pretty crazy. That's actually very remarkable. I'm actually quite impressed with myself. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this sucker to, let's see, 500 likes. I think it's doable. Uh, also, be sure to favorite it as well if you really enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And be sure to follow me on my social media. Those will be listed in the description. And... At the end card of this video, I recommend you check that out. I always do a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. Great way to associate with me. You know, behind-the-scenes uh, giveaways, things like that, exclusive stuff. Great way to, great idea to do that. Also, if you want to get yourself a t-shirt or hoodie, there's a link for my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. But that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. See you guys later. Who's the man with the plan? Mm -hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style, Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving by your back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night in bed, get life savored. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that glocking, got them woofers, just Press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Who you damn fools? Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game. I'm out.